stroke therapy is broken into medical therapy and what we call endovascular stroke rescue. Uh, and endovascular stroke rescue has now been shown to be the standard of care for patients who uh, don't necessarily respond to medical uh, therapy for stroke in the very early stages, or even sometimes those who can't receive that medical therapy for, for various reasons. Stent retrieval has now been proven to be the main method in which to open arteries using uh, non-invasive, minimally invasive surgical techniques to fight stroke. Uh, what that means is that you bring wires and catheters through the patient's arteries, uh, moving these wires and catheters into the particular artery inside of the brain that has been blocked by typically clot. And with those same wires and catheters, you slip through the clot itself because it's fairly soft material, even though it's blocking the artery from getting blood to the brain. You can pass through this clot and then you deploy or push out of these little microcatheters stents that are sort of metal mesh tubes that, that open up in the arteries. And they <clears throat> not only return blood supply as soon as you're doing that to the brain that needs it so desperately, but at the same time, they work themselves into that clot and they, they grab it, if you will. And so that stent retrieval is retrieving that same stent, which a lot of people associate stents with cardiac stents where you where the physician would go and place a stent and leave it in there. In stroke, we actually have stents that are designed that remain attached to the wire that we use to, to, uh, to deploy or push the stent out into the artery. And it's a good thing because we can then pull that stent out through the artery and with it comes the clot, which uh, allows, again, blood supply to get to the brain and hopefully reverses stroke.